Psalm 132, a song of ascents. Adonai, remember in David's favour all the hardships he endured. How he swore to Adonai, vowed to the mighty one of Yaakov. I will not enter the house where I live or get into my bed. I will not allow myself to sleep or even close my eyes until I find a place for Adonai, a dwelling for the mighty one of Yaakov. We heard about it in Ephrat. We found it in the fields of Ya'ar. Let's go into his dwelling and prostrate ourselves at his footstool. Go up, Adonai, to your resting place, you and the ark through which you give strength. May your kohanim be clothed with righteousness. May those loyal to you shout for joy. For the sake of your servant David, don't turn away the face of your anointed one. Adonai swore an oath to David, an oath he will not break. One of the sons from your own body I will set on your throne. If your sons keep my covenant and my instruction, which I will teach them, then their descendants too forever will sit on your throne. For Adonai has chosen Zion. He, he has wanted it as his home. This is my resting place forever. I will live here because I so much want to. I will bless it with plenty of meat. I will give its poor their fill of food. Its kohanim I will clothe with salvation, and its faithful with joy, sorry, and its faithful will shout for joy. I will make a king sprout there from David's line and prepare a lamp for my anointed one. His enemies I will clothe with shame, but on him there will be a shining crown. You know, that's amazing because I was just reading this in my Bible reading this morning, and I, I have to admit I have foregone my Bible reading several mornings, which is not good, but reading in 2 Chronicles 5, 6, and 7, uh, these very things where, uh, where Solomon talks about the promise or the desire that David had to build a house for the Lord and the promise that God gave him that his son would sit on the throne and would build that house. And then the uh, the conditional promise that a descendant will sit on the throne forever if, if, they obey the instructions, if. yeah, And then that bit about the resting place, God says in, in their verse 14, this is my resting place forever. Um, what an amazing psalm. And I, I just love the fact that it fits in. And so often that happens, doesn't it? You know, you read something that fits in with your where you're reading. And if you hadn't, if, if you hadn't missed those couple of days, you wouldn't have read there. And this wouldn't have made just as much sense. Does that, does, I hope that, you know, does that happen to you? Sometimes you're, you're, you're reading through regularly, say through the Psalms or Chronicles or, or wherever, you're reading through a book and you miss a few days and then you, you read the part that you should have read two or three days ago and something that happens that day fits in with what you just read. Isn't God amazing to organize that? And don't tell me that was all accidental. Our God is able to organize it. That's my thoughts from Psalm 132. God bless you.